Hey there, beautiful people. So today I'm gonna be a gonna be breaking down the Boys 1920 Piranha. So I've had it for six days, pretty much worn it every single day. Uh, got some interactions, got some compliments. Uh, wife and mom liked it. Uh, then at the very end, you stay with me. I'm gonna compare a few fragrances to it. Obviously, I've got to compare Aventus but another one that you guys may or may not have tried. And yeah, stay tuned. Back to the boys. So, boys 1920, okay. And I have not the whole, the, not the real one, right? This is nine Creed, you batch junkies that are all about it. This is the 19P11 batch. And I'm bringing this one out because this is this is their take on the Aventus DNA. Oh shit. Well, I just scratched off the label a little bit. The smoked oud. I don't know if you can see. There it is. Or vibrant leather oud. I'm sorry, I said smoked oud. Vibrant leather oud. Okay. So Aventus Zara Vibrant Leather Oud and this boys piranha. Boys 1920 Piranha. So far, longevity on this is great. It lasts much longer on your clothes. So I did a five spray. I think it was, yeah, five spray. I did one on each forearm, uh, one on chest, stomach, and then I hit my shirt, okay? Went the whole day. I could smell uh, the projection, little scent bubble around me. Uh, you know, an hour or two, it, it creates a good good projection, it starts dying down, and you're going to get um, uh, just really uh, the, the the base notes. Uh, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll smell some of those, uh, not in the air so much, but if you smell your arm, right, you're going to get those florals, um, and it does dry down a little bit uh, to, to my nose, it's that oak. The oak is what's hitting at the end, okay? Now, the Aventus, okay? It, the, again, batch variations, I don't know, man. I, I think that they're all pretty much the same. The recent ones, I hear they water down. I haven't smelled anything newer than probably uh, 22. I can't remember. Yeah, I haven't smelled Aventus in the store in a long time. But this one, still great. Still the classic. Um, but it, it's my version doesn't have a lot of the pineapple and it's a little bit more linear than I think the piranha from boys. If you like the DNA, great, right? It's not going to change on you. The boys is going to give you a little bit more of an evolution throughout the fragrance. You get a, an opening that is gorgeous at 20, 30 seconds is amazing. And then the next, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, 20 minutes are going to be about the same. And then as it starts drying down, you're going to kind of oscillate between the florals and the mids that those white florals, that Jasmine that is in there, uh, sweetens it up a little bit uh, and then the oak and the birch that's in there are going to kind of play back and forth that you're going to get. So comparing it to this one now, this one is the kind of, I said smoked oud because it is to me it smells the smokiest out of all of them and there is a level of of fragrance that I think is very surprising that comes out of this $30 bottle, 25. I can't even remember what I paid for this, but it is great. Like for the value for this one, this is awesome. I like the complexity of the boys better. Um, this one is again, a little bit more linear. I didn't purchase a full bottle of Aventus because I had this decant one, but I found this and I had these two that satisfied my Aventus DNA. Uh, recently, when I discovered this one, I said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot because I liked the regular, the Aventus more than this one, 
but I wasn't going to spend 200 bucks even at the discounters for an Aventus. It wasn't, it's to me, it's not that it's not worth it for me. Uh, but I will spend 75 to 80 on this one. Okay. So that's my ultimate take on everything. 19 boys, 1920 piranha is going to give you much more of an evolution. It's not as linear. You're going to get development from the opening to the mid to the dry down. And overall, I think it's a better put together, better fragrance. You're going to get those notes. If you like smelling those different things, if you are an Aventus fan, you may not like that. Okay. So, which is okay, but that's what these reviews are for. So Aventus, still Aventus, right? Still awesome. Um, and if you can find this one, not sure, but if you have it, you know, let me know what you think, or if you've ever smelled it, maybe, you know, give me some differing opinions. Let me know if my nose is broken. Thoughts, feedback. I love that you guys are sticking with me and uh, I'll be making more, more reviews very soon. Take it easy. Thanks.